You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of ABK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 41 degrees, going up to a how about 52, so we're going to have a pretty decent day. I know it's going to be a lot of partying tonight. It's December the 31st, y'all. It's December the 31st. Woo, we done made it to the end of this year. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, because without him, none of this would be possible. And I want to say thank you right here loud and proud so y'all can hear me. Beautiful day right now. Um, today is December thirty first, and uh, we got a we got a short show because nothing is happening. People are home right now, just hanging out, uh, hanging out, and just uh, uh, getting ready for the night. I guess I, I was like, okay, there's nothing, nothing going on. Nope, not really, not really anything going on. But anyway, I just want to give a happy birthday shout out to Myron Irby. Happy birthday, Myron Irby. It's, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. You know, one of my one of one of my good friends, Georgia, I think her son's birthday, I think Adam's birthday was yesterday. So Adam, if I didn't give you a happy birthday shout out yesterday, because I don't think it's a day, because one one of her son's birthday is tomorrow, and I think it's Corey. So I think Corey's birthday is tomorrow. And I think Adam's birthday was yesterday. But anyway, happy birthday, Adam and Corey Taylor. Uh for your Adam Perez and Corey Taylor. These is my these are my friend uh friends, Georgia. These are her sons. She had them like 10 years apart, almost to the day, almost to the day, a couple days apart, 10 years and a couple days apart. So that's so funny. But anyway, happy birthday, Corey. Happy birthday, Myron. Happy birthday, Adam. Um, today is December the 31st, and we're going to go ahead and kick it off with the horoscopes brought to you by No Child and Micah Thyssen. We're going to kick it off like we always do with Aries. Be tactful if you see flaws in someone else's work. Relationships may be hard to handle. Try to channel your energy into professional endeavors. Look, Aries, it's, a, it's about to be a new year. And if God woke you up this morning and wake you up tomorrow, look at what you're doing right now and see if it's something you want to do forever. Work on your own energy. Listen, we, we got energy. We been my daughter and my husband and I, we just been working on energy, man. It's just been like, listen, let's let's try to get the energy right in the house. But and you know what? It's been working. My daughter is funny because she's been doing like this whole manifesting thing. And she has just been manifesting lunch from strangers. People like, I just want to buy you lunch. And it's crazy because she was sitting in the office yesterday. And she's like, I want something to eat. And I was like, well, what you going to eat? And she was like, I don't know, but I want something. And some guy, he knew her from, he's in Maryland. And he's like, I just want to buy you lunch. So she's been, it's the weirdest thing. When you start manifesting stuff, like really putting your energy behind like the things you want, it, it starts to happen. That office that I'm about to move into to probably on Wednesday. What's tomorrow? Thursday. Because I'll probably be home tomorrow. I might. I might move in tomorrow, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited at a studio. But um, the um, I manifested that. I talked about that last year. I was like, in the 2000, uh, next year, I'm going to have my, at the beginning of this year, I talked about, I'm going to have my studio. You know, I'm going to move in. And I didn't know how I was going to get that done. I had no clue. I just knew that I was going to have it. And when the, when the opportunity presented itself, and the answer was, yes, we can do this. Man, I was like, oh, my God. Like, you know, you hear people talking about these great manifesting stories. I know. I'm going to get on to the horoscope, guys. But I'm just talking about today is the 31st. And we normally start all over on January 1 with vision boards and manifestation and energy. I am telling you like I am telling you. 2019 was a pretty good year for me. Business-wise, revenue-wise, it was a pretty good year. I know 2020 is going to be off the chain. I already know because the plans that I have for the company, the clarity, clarity that I have for the company is off the chain. Like I don't even sleep hardly. Like I look at my Fitbit and it's like, you slept six hours, you slept four hours, you slept five hours. I know. And it's not that I don't want to go to sleep. It's just that my mind is going. And my, so my husband's been on vacation all week, right? <laughs> and every morning I wake up, I got something new to say. He's probably like, oh my God, something else. But I can't help it because God is just pouring all these uh, wonderful, amazing ideas into my head. And I'm just super duper excited. Like, okay, so this show, you can't see me right now, but in 2020, you'll be able to see me because this is going to be a live stream video podcast. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So I'll be, I got to get in hair and makeup every day. 
Monday through Thursday. I'm still going to take Friday off unless, unless, you know, something warrants that I change it and I, you know, I do Fridays. But right now, Fridays is scheduled to be off because this is a grueling schedule. When you think about doing a show four days a week, now I'm about to add video to the whole thing and um, more guests and more people I'll be talking to because we're going to have, a, the goal is to have a guest every day on the show. That's the goal. Every day um, on the show. Now I do guests on Thursdays, but the goal is to have every day a guest on the show. And um, and it's going to be video. And it's going to look amazing because of the software and the tools that we're using to just make a great show. Like I told you guys at the beginning of the year, yeah, I had some bumpy some bumpy uh, situations in the show. Um, uh, moving on, uh, doing the show with the microphones and the computer acting up and the internet, but it's going to be a good show. But anyway, let me get back to the hard school. I talk, I talk more about the plans at the end of the show. So just stick around if you want to know more about what we're doing. But anyway, let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, don't hold back. Try not to lend or borrow money or belongings today. You will have a problem dealing with groups. Listen, if you, if you can't, we were talking about this yesterday. If you don't have money that you can lose, don't lend it. That's, 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 that's my philosophy. My philosophy is if I one, if I can give it to you, I will. But if I can't, if I need it back, I'm not gonna give it to you. Because that means that because the chances are you may not get it back. So if you can't afford to lend money, don't do it. And especially not the day tars. That's my philosophy. If you can't afford to lose it, don't lend it. That's my philosophy. Gemini, you can become obsessed with details. Um, and must be sure to divide your time appropriately. You will reap the benefits if you put money into upgrading your residence. You will meet potential new mates through friends or relatives. Mm, so you gonna party tonight, Gemini? You could you could potentially meet a new love. You have a new love in 2020. You know I'm a diehard romantic. I want everybody to be in love. I do. Cancer, get involved in creative projects that turn into money making ventures. Okay, Cancer. All right, take a look at yourself and prepare to make those changes you've been contemplating. Don't go hog wild when it comes to entertainment or you could find yourself short of funds at the end of the month. Listen, listen, you focus on making some money, not just having a good old time and losing money by the end of the month, Cancer. Get creative. Turn the money making, turn the money making ideas into some ventures, baby. Use them ideas. Leo. You can purchase items that will enhance your appearance. Sudden romance could end just as quickly. Travel could be in order. Oh, man. Listen, it's all about the better you. Living your best life, Leo. I got a, my best friend. One of my best friends is a Leo. And she always lives her best life. She's like, oh, she, her birthday is in July. She celebrated the whole month of July for her birthday. Because she's about living her best life. I'm, me, on the other hand, like I barely want to celebrate. So, Thank the Lord for showing me another birthday, and I want to get on with my day doing something else. She celebrates the whole month. Like, I barely celebrate the day. I, I, I'm grateful for the day. I truly am. Every day he wake me up and open my eyes and put my feet on the ground, I'm truthful, truly grateful. But I would be like, yeah, like, what you doing for your birthday? I'm like, I have no idea. I can tell you, though, I do want to go to Sedona, Arizona for my birthday this year. That's that's. So I'm putting it out to the universe. Someone in Sedona... If you're listening to this, I want to come to Sedona, Arizona for my birthday. I saw this movie called Sedona. I had never had, I've never been to Arizona. Um, and I saw this movie called on Gaia called Sedona. And it was such a great movie. I was like, I want to go to Sedona. I saw a couple movies that were filmed in Sedona. It just looks amazingly beautiful. Um, with all the red mountains and things like that. So I want to go. But anyway, universe, I want to go to Sedona for my birthday. Now listen guys, if I go to Sedona... I can broadcast live from Sedona if you want me to. That would be nice, right? That would be really nice. Anyway, we'll, we'll move on. Virgo, you can have a great time if you go out with the one you love. Okay, your emotional state will vacillate problems with colleagues are likely. Your emotional state will vacillate problems with colleagues are likely. Listen, don't don't worry about the colleagues. Don't even try to get into the problem. Go out with the one you love. Hang out with that person today. Bring in the meal with that person. Don't even let the job stress you out. Not today. It's supposed to be a fun day. Let's get into the, the, the mood. Let's get into that. Yes, get me to the next day, which is the next year, which is the next decade. Okay, Virgo? All right, listen, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the uh, horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. And you're listening to the Good Morning with Net Show. <laughs> Playing on my airplane, rimming 
is in boundless way Remember that we had a big fight Maybe words didn't come up right I wish that I was sober And I wish that I could call her Tell her to come over I wish that I could hold her If I could turn back the ends of time Turn it back and make it change your mind If I could turn back the ends of time Audrey Bell Kearney giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Mike Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Relationships, relationships have not been the best for you lately and it's left you somewhat gun shy. You will be erratic and quite likely to make personal mistakes. Don't try to deal with important issues or make changes that will upset the apple cart. Yeah. Don't be too erratic though. Don't be too erratic because you don't want to be making all these crazy mistakes. Just take it easy, relax, relax yourself. All right, Libra. I know someone that's going through some stuff. Relax. It's gonna work out the way it's supposed to. That's what we gotta always remember. Things are gonna work out the way it's supposed to, not the way we wanted to most of the time. The way it's supposed to. Fortunately, we can't control the narrative. Not in life. It's not our. It's not our call. All right, Scorpio. Your domestic scene could continue to be in an uproar today. You can offer your help to others, but back off if they appear to be offended by your persistence. You will be able to borrow money in order to invest. Okay, Scorpio, you're going to be able to get some money to invest. What you going to invest in? Is it a business? Is it a stock market? What you investing in? Clean energy? What is it? Today is your day to get some money, though. So if you need to borrow some money, make sure you got everything in order. Make sure you know what you're borrowing the money for. Don't borrow the money to mess it up because you got to pay that money back. So you need to borrow the money to invest in something that's going to make some money so you can Pay the money back. I'm just saying. Sagittarius, you may have difficulties finishing projects you start. A passionate encounter, mm, a passionate encounter with your mate should help alleviate the pent up energy. I ain't gonna even touch that. That just says it all by itself. Passionate encounter with your mate should help alleviate the pent up energy. That's all. This, I, I ain't gotta even go into that. A passionate encounter. Uh, that's it. So I ain't gotta go into that. Yes. Read between the lines if you want to. All right, Sagittarius. <laughs> Ooh, the energy is going to be let out. That's all I'm going to say. Capricorn, helping children may be rewarding and challenging. You are best to deal with those outside your family. Rest 
and relaxation may be required. Minor health problems will prevail if you don't watch your diet. Everybody's going to be watching their diet after the night. That, that's just the way it is. The gym memberships are going, you know what was crazy? I think Fitness 19 gym right here in Lawrenceville on the corner of Sugarloaf and Grace, I think it closed down. I was riding by there first, the first night I, ro- I rode by. I said, okay, maybe they, they you know, they closed all the blinds because it's nighttime. But I rode by there yesterday. I think the gym is actually closed. I think that's because there's an LA Fitness right up the road. I believe that they felt, but you know what? I think that LA Fitness is there, but not everybody like a LA Fitness. They don't. That's why Curve became so popular back in the in the early 2000s because women didn't want to go to the gym where guys were. So I think and before they closed, they should have figured out how to differentiate themselves. Like, they should have called in a marketing expert to help them come up with a plan that would make them different from all the other gyms. Because I'm sure they could have come up with one. I've seen all kinds of things that I thought about opening up a gym for. Like, I've seen a gym that just had rubber bands. I've seen a gym that just had balls on um, these... Um, balance balls they're like pilates gyms like they should have they should have brought in a marketing person if they close for that reason maybe they just closed because they didn't want to do it anymore but if it was because they felt threatened by the competition they should have brought in a marketing expert to help them you know come up with come up with a program that was different from crunch because crunch is right around the corner um there was another gym down on sugarloaf parkway that closed down i just think you got you got to be different but you got to you got to create that culture right you got to create a culture around your business. You got to be different. You got to figure out that one thing that makes you different that they can only get at your place. And when it comes to fitness, there are so many great things. Like they could have just did all hip hop classes and probably did a great job. I don't. I don't know. I've never been to LA Fitness. My brother is a member of LA Fitness, and I'm a member at Crunch. Um, he loves LA Fitness. I think he loves it because they have a pool. Um, but I, I like Crunch, and he likes LA Fitness. Now I'm probably gonna go visit LA Fitness just to see what it looks like. Um, in the inside when it opens because it's closer to me than Crunch. Actually, Crunch is not that far, but LA Fitness is really closer. So I don't know. They closed down. But anyway, you know, just think about that. All right, Aquarius, you may not be able to please, you may not be too pleased with the actions of those you live with. You may meet the that special person if you attend fundraising functions. Don't let your emotions interfere with your professional integrity. Listen, keep it professional, Aquarius. Don't let your emotional your emotions interfere with your professional integrity, especially not in front of people. You want to be professional at all times. Yeah, you're human, but when you stand in, when you're standing in front of somebody, you want to be as professional as possible. So don't let your and I know I I have I, I get emotional about certain things, not like crying emotion, but if you say something that ticks me off, it's really I've learned to really like dial it down because I will blow up, but I don't anymore. I used to. I have learned to just accept that, you know what, we all have our opinions, we all have our points of views, and um, yours just may be different from mine. I'm going to keep it moving. So just don't let your emotions to get the best of you, especially when you're in a, an environment with professionals, because they're looking at you and watching you. They are. People are always watching, telling you. They are. You don't think they're watching you? They are watching you, especially if you're on social media. They watch, they're watching. All right. My fellow fish Pisces. You are best to concentrate on work. Romance and social activity will be promising. Com- will be a promising combination. Try to understand both sides of the issue before taking sides. Oh Lord, I don't want to. I don't want to know the issues. How about this? I don't want to know the issues. I don't know about the rest of you fish out there, but today, romance and social activity sounds very good. I don't want to know the issues because I don't want to have to take sides. I don't want to be a part of it. I want to concentrate on this new business. Not new business, but this new. Well, kind of new. It is kind of new, actually. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to do it. All right, listen. That's your horoscopes for today. I'll be back tomorrow. God willing to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen. But right now, um, let's keep on moving. Listen, it's national. This to, I know it's New Year's Eve, but here is a national holiday for you. Today is National mm, Make Up Your Mind Day. This listen today is National Make Up Your Mind Day. Decide what the heck you're gonna do with 2020. Make up your mind, put it on paper, write it down, put it in a vision book, put it on a vision board, put it on your vision iPad, put it on your vision iPhone, put it in your vision Android. Make up your mind and take some action. That's all I'm saying. It's National Make Up Your Mind Day. I didn't make that, I didn't create that day. Somebody else created National Make Up Your Mind Day. I know it's New Year's Eve nationally. But it's also National Make Up Your Mind Day. 
All right, let's move on to some news you can use. So the New Year rings in, in New Georgia state laws. Oh, what does that mean? I know, but let's find out. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Whew. The heartbeat anti-abortion bill by uh, Bill Governor Kemp pushed through through the General Assembly this year would not take effect January 1st as intended, blocked by a federal judge. But more than a dozen less controversial measures uh, Georgia lawmakers enacted during 2019 legislation will become law coming the new year. Let's see what some of those laws will be. Yep, let's see. All right, so the state's new business court will become operational. Patients in need of certain medications will be will get an easier path to a prescription. Okay. Georgia saving for children's college tuition will get more generous tax breaks. Okay. So if you got a kid, you live in Georgia, and you save for uh, uh, the kid to go to college, you're going to get a more generous tax break. That's great. Um, two d- judicial circuits will get additional judges. Okay. All right. Here's a breakdown of some of the new laws taking effect January 1. Technically, House Bill 239 establishing a statewide business court in Georgia will take effect which took effect last May, the day Kemp signed into signed it into law. But the court doesn't become operational until January first. In August, members of the state house and state and Senate Judiciary Committees confirmed the governor's nominee to head the court, Walter F. Davis, a partner in Atlanta office of Jones Day. The new court aimed at ex- expediting the handling of cases requiring expertise in business law was created by the constitutional amendment Georgia voters ratified in November 2019. So House Bill 239 is going to take effect January 1st. All right. Under House Bill 63, doctors can seek exceptions for insurance companies to step to step therapy, which requires patients to try certain preferred medications and wait for them to fail before they can receive prescriptions for the medication they want. The law will apply to any health insurance plan that takes effect or is renewed on an offer January 1st, as House Bill 63 takes effect January 1. House Bill 266 doubles the state income tax deduction awarded to Georgia's 529 plan for college savings. That's a good one. Okay, so financial planners, this is something good for you when you're out there trying to help uh, parents set up 529 plans. So 529 is an investment plan. And um, this savings is really going to help parents who are trying to save their child to go to college. So House Bill 266, the state income tax deduction deduction rewarded, awarded through Georgia's 529 plan for college savings from $2,000 per year to $4,000 for single taxpayers and from $4,000 per year to $8,000 per year for couples filing jointly. The legislation takes place with the 2020 tax year. So that's a good one. So for more of these bills that's going to go into effect as law, you can go to GwinnettDailyPost.com. It's a whole lot of them. I can't read guys. Just come and find out all the bills that's going to be taking effect this year, coming 2020. And, um, and you know, you can, so you'll know, I love the, I love the, uh, the house, the, um, bill 266. I love that bill. I, I am a, I am getting my license and investing because I have a granddaughter and one of the things I want to do is I already have a, I already have life insurance license, right? I have to, and my goal last year was to get my was to get my um, series six and my series sixty three, right? But I got so busy with the with the business, so I didn't get a chance to do that. Because here's the thing, I plan on making a ton of money. I need to know how to invest my money. So what better way to do that than, than to get an investment license? That's what I think. Yeah, I can hire a financial planner. I can, but I would rather know how to do it myself. Because one, I already got part of the license I need. That's the that's the insurance license. All I need is my securities license. So that's my it's one of my goals for twenty uh twenty twenty to get my securities license. My baby is she'll turn twenty she'll turn one years old on the twenty third of January, and I want to open up her a five twenty nine plan or some kind of plan um that she can use when she decides to when she when she graduates high school. So whether she wants to go into business or whether she wants to go to college. Now chances are, because her granny. I'm a granny. Her granny is an entrepreneur. She may want to come out and go into business. You never know. Or she just may want to go to college. But whatever she wants to do, I need to have the money in place for that. Because I plan on making tons of money in 2020. Like so much money I'll never spend in my lifetime. That type of money. Like generational wealth money. Like Rockefeller, Vanderbilt, J.P. Morgan, Chase kind of money. That kind of money. Listen, I watched the men who built America. Henry Ford, Chase, Edison. 
all them guys, that money is still floating around. Do you hear what I'm saying? Warren Buffett kind of money. That's the kind of money I plan on making in 2020. And I need to know how to invest that money. So I need to know my security laws. I'm just saying. I'm putting it to the, Listen, I'm going all in with the universe. Me and the universe, we're going to become partners. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm passionate right now because I am in a state of mind that it's going to be a beautiful year. I, so, yeah, go to that daily post to check out all of these new bills because it's a lot. It goes in effect as of tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to go to the song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs>
funny because I was sitting there thinking, and I'm truly grateful, just grateful. I've been an entrepreneur next year, tomorrow, June. I'll be 23 years. I've been an entrepreneur full-time. It'll be 21 years. And I remember, because I started out in 97, I went full time in 99. I quit my job working at Verizon and had it, has it been easy? Not at all. But here's what I could tell you guys. Financially, it's been tough. I ain't gonna even lie to you. But when it comes to being free, I was free, man. I've been free. I've been free to get up when I want to go to sleep when I want to go when I want to come when I want to roll the dice when I want to just do what I want to do. That's what I've been given. And so sometimes you got to look at success from what makes you happy. And I'm just not one of those person. I realize that I just, it's hard for me to like go to work for somebody. I need to be free to be creative. I'm a creative person. Now I can't draw a lick. I can't draw a straight line. Right. But I can come up with some amazing ideas and amazing concepts. That's why my marketing company, that's why I'm in marketing. That's why I'm a marketing company. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bragging. I just had to learn what my gifts and abilities were. And I had the gift of listening, listening to you and coming up with amazing concepts and ideas that blow my mind sometimes, you know, and it's it because God gave me the gift of, li- of listening. I remember I went for a job at Comcast one time and, um, the guy did an interview over the phone with me. I got the job too. He did an interview over the phone with me and he said to me, what, uh, what skill do you think you need for this job? Right. I had no clue. I was just like, yeah, the skill to listen. He was like, nobody has ever gotten that right. And I was like, really? He was like, never. They never get that right. And I was like, so in my mind, I'm thinking, well, you can't get anything done if you don't listen. If you that person like to talk all the time and you never listen, then you never get anything done. You can't because you're talking all the time. You got to listen. So I know that that was a gift that God gave me and he gave me, and it took me a long time to, to recognize what that gift was. It took me a long time to figure out how to use that gift to, to enhance my life and to enhance other people's lives. And so that's when I realized what well, I can have a marketing company. I can show people how to do all these things. He also gave me the gift of learning. Like I learned stuff really quickly. I've always had that. I didn't know how to use it. I learned stuff really quickly. And um, I'm not I'm not bragging at all. I'm just telling you how blessed I've been and how these gifts that God has given me has allowed me to be free to do the things I want to do. Has allowed me to be free to, and I'm feeling emotional for some strange reason right now, which is rare. Um, it allowed me to be free. My mother was going through breast cancer. I don't know if you guys know, but she know it, but I don't know any job that's going to let you just take off 33 days in a row without going on some type of believe. Um, but she had to do radiation. It was 33 days in a row. And we went every day for 33 days in a row. And I was right there with her all 33. So that, that song, you know, it just made me feel really blessed. And I just wanted to share that with you. So let's keep it moving. I don't feel like, I don't mean to get all mushy on you, but I just, ah, I'm just feeling great right now. Anyway, so come, there's a, there's a study that says that 50% of the kindergartners are even below age appropriate levels. So goodwill, um, goodwill and, um, great little minds have come together, um, and, and Gwinnett, a Gwinnett coalition to, 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 to collect books for these kids that are reading between below. Man, listen to this. You're, you got a kindergarten, kindergartner, and they're reading below kindergartner level. Like what level is that? There's a study out that shows that, you know, uh, Commissioner Hopeful for District 3, Derek, um, Derek Wilson, he talks about that's one of the platforms he's running on because he said you have to get these kids in preschool and kindergarten. And I did not know this. I did not know that, that, that this was a real issue. Like early childhood learning, I didn't know that that was an issue. Preschool and all things like that, I didn't know that that was an issue. And so his platform is has a lot to do with early childhood education. He's running on that. And, he, you know, that's... I didn't know it was a real issue, but now I'm looking at another study. And this is like the second or third time I've heard that this year when it comes to young children and learning. And I did not know that. Anyway, Goodwill and its employees in partnership with Gwinnett Coalition of Health and Human Services and Great Little Minds, a Gwinnett Coalition, will sort through, um, sort children books for ages zero to eight years old. Um, as the first book supplier for the program's little libraries around the com- around the county, I love that little libraries. That is so cute. 
That is so cute. Um, the early learning donated books will be incorporated into the book exchange throughout Gwinnett County. Goodwill of North Georgia is thrilled to support such a crucial initiative. Keith Parker, president and CEO of Goodwill of North Georgia, said, Simulating and strengthening the minds of our youth at an early age makes it much easier for Goodwill to help people not only find a job, but a better job and then a career. Great Little Minds is preparing our children for the future. That is so, so cute, too. Great Little Minds. I've never heard of them, but I think I need to get them on the show. I don't, I don't think I need to get them on the show. I'm going to get them on the show. Um, Gwinnett Reading Exchange and Arts Transforms, which stands for GREAT. That's the acronym, GREAT. Little Minds is a public art and public awareness campaign designed to inspire the love of reading, provide access to early learning children's books, and encourage appreciation for public art in Gwinnett County. The free book exchange is sponsored by businesses and individuals will benefit children and families by increasing free access to to early learning books. That is wonderful. The Goodwill of North Georgia Partnership is a prime example of collaboration in Gwinnett for Gwinnett Ellen uh, for Gwinnett. Ellen Gersten, Gwinnett Coalition's executive director, said the 3,000 early learning books will impact many Gwinnett families. 3,000. Yep, 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 yep. So the Gwinnett Coalition and their community partners at Hudgens uh, Center for Art and Learning recently accepted online arts submissions for book exchanges to be painted, adorned, and transformed into works of art by local artists. Artists have... um, have December 9th to January 21st to complete the works of art. Book exchanges will be delivered to Hudgens Center by the 21st. That's amazing. So let, let's give them a round of applause for that. That's that's people helping people. That's that nonprofit segment, people helping people. We got to help these kids. I didn't even know it was an issue. But you want to find out more about Derek's stance on um, early childhood learning, you can go to Derek J. Wilson or Derek WilsonForGannett.com, and you can check out what Derek is talking about over there. But li- anyway, let's give them a round of applause. To read the full story and to find out how you can get involved with the um, program, you can go to Gwinnett Daily Post for more information because it's a great story and it's a way to get involved. All right, so Gwinnett School is preparing for potential digital learning days when school starts back up again. Yeah. As Gwinnett Public Schools Executive Board, Instructional Development, and some, it is Trisha Kennedy's job to prepare the district school to keep teaching. Um, this is schools to keep teaching should any unforeseen circumstances cause school closing. Yes, because you never know. We might have a snowstorm. Listen, you know when we have a snowstorm, now it'd be like a half inch, not even an inch, and they shut it down. I'm talking about all the way down. Shut it down. Yeah. I So, yeah. Kids walk to school in the snow in Jersey. Like, it'd be ice. I'm talking about ankle snow. It's like, yeah, we got to go to school. Down here, it's like it's like flour thrown on the ground. They shut it down. But anyway, in Georgia, it seems it doesn't take much for one particular form of precip- precipitation to keep school doors shut. Tis the season. I'm not talking about the holidays, she said. I'm talking about when the mere mention of snow, that's right, can bring the whole state to a grinding halt. <laughs> I ain't lying, Trisha. I know, girl. When I first saw everything shut down, but we know what was funny. The first, I think it was the first or second year we were here. That was that bad year when they had like ice all over 85. And my husband had a four, you know, we always drive, I drive Jeep because we, we lived in Jersey. So I love Jeeps. I love four wheel drive. So, because we know we got to get out there and get in it. Like we would have to go out the house for something and snow would be up, up to our hips. So you got to put the car in four wheel drive and roll on out. So my husband was like, nah, I'm going to stay at work. Cause they, they let the, everybody at the job go, go home early. But he decided he was going to stay at 12 o'clock. I think they left earlier than him. And, um, because he had four wheel drive, he can get through it. Here's the thing. They don't put down salt on the road. See in Jersey, they put salt down. So if you got a four wheel drive, you can get through the you can get through the roads on the ice because it's salt on the roads. Here they put down sand or something, and he wound up getting home eight. He left work at twelve o'clock. Got home eight o'clock that night because he's like, nah, I know how to handle this. And this was our first snowstorm. It was so funny. I laughed. I was like, wow. If they just put salt down like everywhere, you'd be fine because it's such a small amount of snow. Like, but if, if you don't put down the salt and you put down sand and you let it freeze, you got a slippery situation. I lived in North Carolina for a while in um, a little town. This The town I lived in at this time was called Zebulon. And um, my mom came to visit. Same thing. 
no salt. They put down sand. And so I had this cute little Sebring, right? I had a, I had my Jeep and I had a Sebring. And she had came to visit. And I had to take, she was going to go home. And I had to take her to the to the bus station because she won't fly. <laughs> she won't fly. She'd rather take Greyhound. And um, so we were going up this hill to get to the, to get to the bus station and my car started to slide on the ice. I had never seen my mother move so fast in my life. My mother, so we, we managed to stop the car. And so it was a big ditch. Like, and this, and the Sebring is a, was a little car. It was a little cute little sports car. Had it slid, we would have been down upside down in the ditch. And, um, and, and we got right to the edge of the ditch. I had never seen my mother move so fast. My mother crawled out the car. And crawl. She left me in the car. She crawled out the car and crawled to the other side of the road. It was when I think about it, it was scary then. But when I think about it now, it was it's funny because she was moving out. She left me in the car, so I had to get out the car. So I threw the car and threw the emergency brakes on to keep the car from sliding in the ditch. And we called the um, tow truck, right? So the tow truck. I'm expecting it's a tow truck. Like this is what you do. Well, the tow truck come and get stuck. Could not, it got stuck. So we, the troll truck is stuck. I'm stuck. We were stuck for a while until, until we finally got, I, I forgot how we got out of that mess, but it was a mess. But anyway, you can't put down sand. You got to put down salt. You put down salt, the little bit of ice and snow you get down here, you put down salt, it's gone in a second. Literally. Like you get rock salt and you put it down. If you're at home and it snows, like the little bit of snow you're going to get, just go buy you a, a bag of rock salt. As soon as you put it on the ground, it's melted. I don't know why that's so hard to comprehend. But anyway, this school year, Gwinnett schools have avoided prob- uh, problematic scenarios. This has not been the case in recent history. Category 5 Hurricane Irma closed the schools in 2017. Then uh, wintry, uh, winter, wintry weather closed the school in January 2018. Gwinnett County Public Schools uh, also closed last January in response to prediction of inclement weather. I remember that. Right. But anyway, so now they're, they're putting this, this system in place. So if that does happen, the kids can continue to learn so that they don't have to school, extend the school year. Yeah, so I think that's cool. Yep. So digital learning days, I think that's amazing. Yep. That way the kids can stay connected to their schoolwork. The teachers can stay connected to the kids. They don't have to lose time. Digital learning days is really good. But more of that story also. Uh, go to Gwinnett Daily Post. Also, there's something there that's, that's going to help you. This is a very long story. Like, I can't read this whole story. But go to Gwinnett Daily Post at all. And this also gives you some information on how to prepare for a closing. Because, you know, they're closed down, boy. They say snow. It's going to snow tomorrow. Everything shuts down, comes to a screeching halt. Stuff start flying off the shelves. Like, ah, can't, listen, y'all need to be in Jersey for us. If you've never lived in the north during the winter time, go there. Just, I, I, I don't even want to travel there. Like, People be having stuff. I be like, man, I ain't going up there. It may, it may, it be beautiful and no mention of snow, and you wake up and it's a blizzard. So in the winter time, I don't even want to go that way because I don't want to get snowed in. Like I feel bad because there are people that I want to go hang out with for their birthdays, but it's like I ain't coming because it may snow. Like I don't miss the snow. I miss my friends and, and my family. Do not miss the snow. Can't say I do. All right. Yeah, so there's a dog treat company that wants to open up near uh, Norcross. Yep. Lucky Premium Trees has submitted a special use permit application to operate the 22,628 square feet plant in an existing facility at 1200 block of Oak, Oak Brook Drive. The 3.6 acre site is already zoned for light industry uses. The facility would process poultry and other types of meat to be used in dog treats according to the application. Um, with regards to the site, the existing building is a one-story, multi-tenant brick building with an existing tenant that produces visual and acoustic signaling device occupying 25% of the building. Um, the remaining portion of the building, proposed to be occupied by the applicant, was previously used as a plastic fabrication shop and has been vacant for the past year. Lucky Premium Treats will provide a long-term quality tenant to maintain and occupy the portion of the building that has otherwise been vacant. The permit request will be taken up by Gwinnett County Planning Commission at its January 7th meeting. County staff have recommended approval, but the conditions such as installing an outdoor odor neutralizer, because that's the first thing that came to my mind, installing an, an odor neutralizer, that's a condition. The first thing that came to my mind, if you're going to be like processing meat 
Meat smells terrible. So I'm thinking, ooh, I wouldn't want to be a tenant near them. Sorry, guys. But I'm just saying. Like, ugh. Like, can you imagine, like, processing meat? Yeah, the odor. Mm. Ooh. Anyway, that's going to be um taken up at the complaining, complaining, the planning commission meeting on the 7th. Ooh, so hopefully they'll help them get that uh, deodorizer in there because that, that just sounds stinky. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be back after this next song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs> Show should go already about Kearney giving me the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, you know, it's New Year's Eve, so it's probably gonna be some worship services tonight. So, watch night worship tonight starts at 10 o'clock. If you want to go to that, that's gonna be at Mount Calvary United Methodist Church, the small church with a big heart located at 145 Nil Boulevard in Lawrenceville. So, go on out there, get your, get your church on tonight. You know, some people like to bring the New Year's in their church, some people like to stay home. I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I used to go to church a lot after I stopped partying a lot because, you know, I started, I used to party. I don't know. You don't know. I used to party, like, hard. Like, me and my friends would go out Sunday through Thursday partying until we had our kids, and then we stopped. Then we would go out, like, once a, once a week. Then that went from once a week to once a month. And then it went from once a month to once a year. So now it's hardly ever. <laughs> Probably once a, once a quarter or once every six months I go out. And when I say go out, I'm talking about, Somewhere where they may play some music. Like, I don't think I've been to anywhere to play music. Not like at a 
I mean, I went to an event, but like a club. I don't think I've been to a club since I've been in. Have I been to a club since I've been in Georgia? A lounge or anything? No, I haven't because I think all the lounges have hookah. I don't like smoke. Even though I know hookah doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, it's just something about smoke. I don't like smoke, so I haven't been anywhere. But anyway, if you want to get your get just get a spirit filled New Year's and bring it in and church at night, Mount Calvary United Methodist Church is doing a um, watch night tonight. Starts at 10 p.m. ends at 12 a.m. Right at the stroke of midnight. So you can check that out. They're located at 145 Neal Boulevard, and that's in Lawrenceville. So if you want to go to that, go ahead. Now, if you are a man or woman of a certain age, AARP is hosting the Roaring Twenties New Year's Eve Bash. You want to go to that? That's tonight also. It's 10 dollars to get in. It's going to be at Famous Joe's, located at 3290 Hamilton Mill Road in Beaufort. You want to go to that? Go ahead on. It's ten dollars. The Roaring Twenty. So I'm assuming you got to dress up in something twenty. Yes. This New Year's Eve will have a performance by Slim in the Gyms, throwing down some of the best swing dancing, booty shaking, rock ability this side of the Mississippi. Mississippi. Slim in the Gyms <laughs> is a high energy three piece power trio that plays rock ability. America and good old rock and roll. So if you like good old rock and roll. Yeah, if you want to go out and experience, let me see, with the over 40 experience, they bring their own brand of non-traditional rockability originals, as well as a wide variety of covers. Behind the Rocky, behind the recording of Feeling Corky, Feeling Cokey with Slim and the Gems by Rockin' Robbie, Rockin' Rob Davis. That starts at day 8 p.m. It's going to go all the way up to 2 p.m. So all of you AARP uh, members... Get on out there if you want to have a good night going out there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So where is that going to be? That's going to be at 3290 Hamilton Mill Road in Beaufort. $10 to get in. Going out and party with Slim and the Gems. That's so cute. Slim and the Gems. At Famous Joe's. They're going to be getting it in tonight. Now, if you are not in the AARP club, but you still want to get it in, Atlanta Banquets is going down tonight. New Year's Eve Bash in Swanee. Atlanta Banquets. 1300 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. Cafe Cafe Bar. Cafe Bahar. And Briani and Grill proudly presents 2020 New Year's Eve Bash. So it's going to have a lavish buffet. Unlimited free drinks. Photo booth. Ramp walk. Desi dance floor. Raffles. Baby, babysitting. What? They gotta have babysitting. Get get out of here. They really want you to come out and party tonight. Like they gonna have babysitting. DJ music by DJ Crystal Clear Productions. This is gonna be again. It's gonna be Atlanta Banquets, thirteen hundred Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, Suite one 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 zero, and that's in Swanee. Yes, this go. They getting it in. You hear me? I'm hey. I ain't mad at them. You know the loop has um. Duluth is saying that they're going to be uh, uh, offering vouchers. So if you want to go out tonight in Duluth and you want to take Uber, which I suggest you do, do not be driving and drinking. You know, Uber, they have Duluth is offering free vouchers, $25 voucher towards your Uber ride tonight because they want to make sure that you stay safe on the street because they know people are going to drink. New Year's Eve is what they do. You know, they drink. They have parties. New Year's Eve, they know that. So they've been, they're trying to be as responsible as they want you to be. So go to, I think it's their Facebook page, the Luth, uh, the Luth's Facebook page to find a voucher. It's only a limited amount, though. It's a $25, $25 uh, discount voucher. So you're safe. Also, Still Fire Brewing is having a New Year's Eve party starting today at 7 p.m. So if you want to get it in. So Still Fire is one of the breweries I talked about yesterday. General admission is $25 to $125. Um, and if you want to go to Still Brewing to hang out at the brewery tonight for 2020, Still Brewing, so they had Still Fire. Was it Still Fire? One of them places that they had 450 people last year. Because I was like, oh, that would be nice to go. Then I started thinking, 450 people? That's a lot of folks. I ain't even trying to. Like, I would have to take an Uber. Not that I'm going to get drunk, because I don't get drunk. Because I, I smell liquor and I get drunk. So I'm not a big drinker. But I would like to be in the, in, the, in the midst of the fun. But 450 people, that's a lot of folks. I can't remember, was it... Still Fire or was it one of the other ones that I talked about? Anyway, Still Fire is going down today, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you want to go, it's located at 343 Highway 23 in Swanee. 
It is the price is twenty five dollars to one hundred and twenty five. My daughter told, and I'll tell you this story next time. But my daughter just went out. And they told me this amazing story that I was like, "What? You can't sit down. What's you supposed to do?" She's like, "Unless you buy a section, you have to stand up all night." I was like, "Are you kidding me?" She's like, "No." So if you look pretty, you know, maybe some guys will invite you into their booth so you can sit with them if you don't buy your own booth. I was like, really? She's like, yeah. I said, what about at the bar? She said, there's no seats at the bar. So you mean tell me I'm going to pay to get into a place, buy a drink, and I got to stand up all night? If I don't buy this booth, you got to be kidding me. But I ain't mad at the business owner who thought of that concept. I was like, ooh, that's ingenious. So you got to pay to get in. If you want to pop bottles, you got to pay for your own private section. And then you got to pay for drinks if you drink up everything in the bottle. I ain't mad at that business model, baby. At, not at all. It's a, who that's genius. I'm like, I love it. I love that business. So you got like, that's a great business model. I'm just saying. And people go and pay and they got to stand up all night looking cute. Mm-mm. My knees and back couldn't take it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Going out. Be safe out there. I'm going to go to my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my inspiration of the day. Stay tuned. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you were carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense of emotions So does I'm the lighting The one I pick a fight with Everything Seems so good I guess I can't Help myself
listen guys that's all i got for you today but before i go i want to give you my word of inspiration Ooh, it's about to be a new year y'all it's about to be a new decade and we've got through a whole decade Yes, we have, and it's about to be a new one. And prayerfully, we all wake up tomorrow and be a part of that. But before I go, I want to give you this word of inspiration. So my word today is, nothing in the universe can stop you from letting go and starting over. <laughs> ah, that's powerful. You know, I don't know what I'm going to tell you every day. Like, I don't know until I sit down and it comes to me on paper, on a calendar, on Women's Day, Seven Days of Inspiration. I don't know. I don't know, but it, it has to, like, touch me. And to me, this was perfect. So let me say it again. Nothing in the universe can stop you from letting go and starting over. God finally said that and he was right. The universe is here to support us. God is here to support us. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to invite you. It's about to be a new year in less than 24 hours. It's about to be less than 12 hours. About 12 hours is going to be a new year. You can let go of all the crap that you went through this year and start all over. See, you can start all, all over every second. You can. You just have to make, you got to make up your mind. It's national make up your mind. <laughs> you just got to make up your mind to do that. You can't live in the past. Someone told me something um, that someone is still holding on. Now, they, they did it to themselves. I didn't do it to them. And they're still holding on to that thing that is gone. In my opinion, you did it to yourself. You did it to me. But you still hold on to something you did to me, right? They did it to me. They did something to me. And they're holding on to that. I said, listen, I, I, I'm not upset. I'm good with it. I've moved on. I'm good. But they're still, hold, and they're still holding on to it and talking about it. This happened about two months ago, maybe three. And so I was, in, I was in a conversation with one of my friends yesterday, and they told me that that person is still holding on to something that they did to me. Here's my thing to you. Even if you've done something to somebody, Right? Forgive yourself and move on. Let it go. Don't carry all that junk over to the new year. Don't carry all that junk over to the new decade. Start over. You can start over right now. But if you decide to wait and start over tomorrow, start over tomorrow fresh. Start over tomorrow with a clean slate. Start over. Leave all the junk in the past. That's why they call it the past. You can't go back and change it. Don't worry about that stuff. It's done. It's over. Start over. You can start over right now, but some of you are going to wait till the night at midnight and start over. And that's cool too. Just do. Start over. The universe and God is help you to here to help you do that. We can start over every day. That's all I got for you. Thank you for being a part of this show. I celebrated one year on December the 18th. I'm excited about that. We're up to episode 227, I think. Um, I got great plans for 2020. I'm super duper excited about all of the things that I got rolled out. I'm so emotional today. I have no idea what is going on. I just feel like crying, which is rare. Like people that know me know I'm not a crier, but I'm really feeling some kind of way. And I think it's because I've got through a full year of doing a show almost four days a week and then sometimes on the weekend. That's not, that's not easy. My throat hurts sometimes. My throat is hurting right now. You probably can't tell. My throat is hurting right now because of the, the strange weather but I get up every day and I do this show because I love doing it and I'm even more excited about what 2020 is going to bring for the show as we continue to grow um moving into the studio is one big part of it but also getting new equipment and new I got two brand new computers um just a whole bunch of stuff and I'm excited to I'm excited about where the show is going. I'm excited about that. Look forward to some great guests coming on. We got a whole lineup of people that we're going to be bringing on to talk about our community that we live in. I love Gwinnett County. Um, I love you guys for listening and sharing this show with your friends and families. I see the stats, so I know it's growing. Ooh, I'm emotional right now. I know it's growing. I appreciate you so much for listening to the show every day. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Thank you again for listening. Be sure if you missed any episode of the show, go to Good Morning Gwinnett and listen to past episodes. Share it with your friends. Download the app from the App Store um, and share that with your friends also. I had a big, bodacious goal to get to a million subscribers or a million downloads or a combination of both. But I didn't know my the people who run my app, you know, they, they couldn't figure out why people can hear it on the iPhone 8 and above. And it's because you can't have it on vibrate. So now that I know that, you have to turn your phone off or vibrate to listen to the show live on the app. I will be pushing the app, and I hope you help me push the app too. But again, thank you so much for listening. Be safe out there tonight. I know you want to go out and have a good time. So whether you're going to church, whether you're going out to the to the club, whether you're just going to hang out with families, be safe. 
make some great New Year's resolutions. We're going to stick to them. I want you to come back tomorrow and share some of your resolutions with me. I'm going to share some of mine with you. I share a lot on this show. I share so much personal stuff on this show. People probably think I'm crazy for sharing so much, but I'm a storyteller. It's what I do. I'll be back again tomorrow. God willing, be safe out there, guys. Love you for listening. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye now. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends.